little different music. 239, let's sense everything Southwest Florida and beyond. And we are here. Today is Friday. Did you have to think about what, it? What is the date? It's have the to 19th. Look? Oh, it's the 19th. Yes. Is it the 19th? November 9th. We're getting close to Turkey Day. We are. And, and it's I- a big lunar eclipse tonight. Are you talking? So all the crazy. I, I don't know. I can't hear myself over the music. <laughs> At least it's new music. I do yeah. appreciate that. We like Mix new it music. Up. Yeah, a little bit's good. Not but, always over my voice, but, but that's all right. Thanksgiving is kind of an exciting time. Are you going to turn that freaking music no, down? No, like slow and bring it down to a nice. But, but people can hear you. Barely. We are live today on. We're live on YouTube. Oh. We're live on Facebook. So many platforms. And guess what? We are even live on Stitch, I believe, today, right? On it's, what is it? It's Twitch. Twitch? It's Twitch or Stitch. Twitch. Twitch. Yeah, we're big. Stitch fix, Twitch, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, and pretty soon we are going to be live where people can, like, give us stars. Oh. And each star is like a penny. What? Yeah, each star is like a penny. I can't keep up with all this technology. Yeah, we're, we're working on that right now. Uh, but can they take Diana, it away? Can you can you come in for a second? Can you come in? Are you, are you? Are you? Yeah. 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 I, you no, you're 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 up. You're up. Yeah, she's up. She's up. I can't. Oh, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I kind of make some mistakes and kind of blame them on other people. It's kind of funny. <laughs> so, we we are. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to bring it to the next level. So people can go on. We got comments. They can give us stars, and you can get you know a little bit of extra well, I, I also saw pennies. something. Pennies. pennies, yeah, it's pennies. I also saw something on social media where people can share their live videos with us now. What is that about? Um. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So did you post that, Diana? That there was like somebody shared their live video. And it was asked, or did someone hack us? Did no, no, no one hacked us. But if you have a cool video, please send it to us. Like if you see somebody doing something stupid in Naples, we'll put it up on the Facebook page. Oh my gosh! So it's gonna be fun, Season right? Is coming. It's yeah. gonna be a bonanza. See, so if you see something silly, please, please, please send it to us. We will we'll give you credit for it, all that stuff. And, and Diana switched herself off. She okay. switched herself off. Wait. Okay. So on. Diana, so how does this whole transition work? We're gonna be Facebook. YouTube, YouTube, which we already are. Twitch. Twitch. And then probably other more. Uh, other more? Other, other more, more platforms? Yeah. Other more platforms? Others. That's cool. Yeah, others. There'll be others. So you're putting all this together behind the scenes. There's a lot of work going on right now at the 239. A lot of work, a lot of learning. And we are actually going to change the studio, the look of the studio. You guys have big plans. Yeah. So we're going to probably do that um, 2022. In January, we're gonna make we'll a, have to a, have another party a, then. a little. Oh, we're gonna. Have, of course, we're gonna. Have, yeah, we're just gonna make some. We're just gonna rearrange some things and spend a little bit of money and mm-hmm. you know have a good time. With Does it. that include any type of a plastic surgery budget for me? We we do. Um, we could probably get you hooked up with a uh, you know a little extra CCs. Is that what you say? CCs. Yeah, I don't need anything injected into my boobs. I don't want anything in my you, lips. I've already had my Botox. But it is time for a brow lift. So uh, I just, I think we should invest in the group by investing in my face. You, but you don't want to do the clown thing. I, I say, you go, I say you go with CCs. Let's do the CCs. You don't think my boobs are big enough? <laughs> I almost fall over when I walk now. <laughs> CCs. It's all about CCs. No. And that's not even the look anymore. Like you can tell those of us that had it done back in the 90s or started back in the 90s because we still have the big fake ones and everybody else has beautiful, like athletic bodies now. It's true. And we've got a big. Not that anybody's complaining. And we, it's kind of spurred on yours, but we're going to have a podcast that's about chivalry, right? Yes. And that's That's coming up. up. That's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. So So we're going to really see see if. Chivalry, chivalry is dead. Yeah. Are you allowed to say nice things? things, things and, yeah. and, 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 and not just chivalry, too. too. I, think I think it, it kind of goes into what, what, what are men allowed to say to women? women? Is it a compliment or is it insulting? If you're saying something about a stranger that you don't know about her body. Um, and so, yeah, there are just so many different angles. And I was really surprised at some of the input that I got from different age groups and men and women about what they thought was acceptable. Like, like not, not just, just what they thought was good manners, but truly what, what they thought was acceptable for their wife, their sister, whatever. Yeah, and it was kind of funny because you were pushing your cart back to the corral and some guy says, oh, I've never seen such. That's the nicest I've ever seen anyone yeah. return a cart. And 
And of course, I couldn't help myself. I was just I'm oblivious to like what's going on. I'm just thinking about my ice cream, right? Like I'm an ice cream girl and I'm tired. It's the end of the day. I had been doing that uh, video shoot for Neighbor War Day. So I had on a, a long dress and heels. Not that it matters what, what I was wearing, but it was very conservative. And I was just dressed for work. And um, yeah. And so at first I thought he was just complimenting me on taking my cart back on being a good citizen. Because again, I'm oblivious. And then he looked me up and down. And well, you didn't mention that. Oh, yeah. He, he gave me the full body yeah, scan. Yeah. But, and, you know, I'm in a, a dark parking lot. He's in an SUV. And normally I have my gun on me, but my purse was in my car because I'm returning the car. And uh, so I only have my keys. And I, I do have a little, uh, you know, PTSD from being stalked. So I don't like strange men coming up to me in dark parking lots. Just the funny you run around, though, with the green guy. <laughs> Some guy goes, hey, you look hot. You know, like, like, oh, like, just, 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 yeah, just the thought. That you, that's the thing, just, too, is I don't, you know, I don't want men to be afraid to say, well, I don't know you. Please don't take this the wrong way. But you look really nice in that color. Or, you know, you look like really exceptional today. I mean, I think it's okay a little bit to comment on a stranger's appearance. You don't like cat call? Body. You don't like cat like, calls? The body thing is a little weird. Yeah. And, and, you know, he was coming out of the store, too. So he had the opportunity to be a normal person inside, yet he wanted to be creepy outside okay. in the dark. Okay. Well, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go right into what we, uh, yeah. you know, what we talked about. So it's it, be- really, and then that just goes into, like, are men even supposed to open doors for, for ladies that anymore and are they supposed to pay for dinner and um and some women get pissed off about that yeah so so very we gotta topic. save it and we i want to get, it. I wanna get diana's input on that episode too because i think it's changed over the generation of course yeah. and it's a team and we'll get your generation too yeah my generation you know we're so young you know <laughs> no, no, no. us, us in our, our mid 30s you know we're all good right, right, right. <laughs> so it's all good but, but yeah, yeah so you know it's 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 been crazy, but I think everybody's kind of getting ready for Thanksgiving, the holiday season. I kind of get this fun time. It's, Dude, it's like hard. It's hard. Cool. Yeah, I love it. The, the thing about it is, though, is I I always like to say I'm going to starve myself until Thanksgiving Day, but I've been eating yeah. a little bit bad this week. You have to get your stretchy pants out. Yeah, you're going to yeah. eat them for a couple of yeah. weeks. But no, I like, like Thanksgiving, and we're going to go to Nashville, so that's going to be a cool thing. Get to see my daughter, so it's always fun. And they have that. leaves in Nashville, so you're going to have a really beautiful atmosphere around. Yeah, it's well. going to be nice. It's beautiful up there. Yeah, it's good. So we is she going to cook? Um, I probably cook the turkey. Oh. She'll probably cook like you know mashed potatoes and so that's on nice. and so forth. Yeah, team but effort. I like I like going up there if I can just listen to music and have a good time and mm-hmm. Nashville good. Good time. It's not that long of a drive either, but you fly. Huh? I'm, I'm going to fly, but everybody says this season's going to be really bad flying. So have to fly. the good thing about it is I leave um, Port de Gorda, I land in Nashville. Oh, so you're you know, taking so, Allegiant? Yeah, Allegiant, yeah. yeah. Legion, yeah. yeah. The, high end, right. the high end, the high end, you know, airline. Yeah, it's 45 bucks for your ticket, but 400 for the Yeah, no shit. Like, that's the truth, man. What the hell's up with that? You don't that? want to take anything. Like $39 for your ticket, but if you want to take a fucking... Yeah. Just and a bar of soup with you. Sit down on the plane. That's yeah, another like yeah. twenty five. Exactly, exactly. So, but no, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. We're looking forward to it. Good. Yeah. I'm gonna I, see if Diana wants to come over for dessert. Well, that'd be for, nice. uh, for Thanksgiving. I don't think I can get her to come over for dinner, but be nice. we'll see. That'd I keep nice. inviting her. She keeps not coming. We're just gonna keep it going. And I usually like to try to do like some cool office parties, but I'm not gonna be here. So well, it's Diana like, and I are here. Well, we can do know, a cool office when party. When are we gonna do it? But we'll get a cut out of you. You don't really need to be here. Do you just pay for the shit? We'll get, ah, you, okay. get a cut I out. Got you. I got I see how it is. I see how it is. We yeah. could uh twitch you in or switch you in or whatever the you guys are doing Twitch, it. Twitch, you know. <laughs> we'll do it all. Yeah. So, well, and this kind of goes, this next story kind of goes with a little bit of craziness, right? You know, nobody, nobody likes to have an asshole spouse or girlfriend or boyfriend, right? So this guy, ex-Jet, Zach Stacy, just a total dick, right? Um, lives in Florida. You guys probably saw us on the news. Ex-Jet was arrested in Florida Thursday night for allegedly attacking attacking his ex-girlfriend allegedly. last weekend in front of their five-month-old son. I mean, I don't know if the five-year-old knew exactly what was going on, but it was it was a bad video. Well, five and, months old, they still pick up the box. Yeah, no, absolutely. They know when mom's getting her um, ass Authorities said the 30-year-old former NFL running back, dickhead, was charged uh, with aggravated battery and criminal mischief over the uh, caught-on-camera assault 
of his baby mama, Kristen Evans, at her home on Saturday, according to the Orange County Sheriff's Office. So that's up in Orlando area. Do we have that video or yeah. the stills of that video? I, I believe we have a video. We because have it, a it, picture of it. See it. She's so tiny and he's yeah. so big. Yeah. And I was saying to Diana before that, you know, we've had these stories before, but now we're able to see it. We're able to, to see on these surveillance cameras because the ring is finally affordable for the everyday person. So this woman had the ring camera, which caught this incident. You know, he comes in, starts yelling at her, picks her up, slams her against the TV, picks her up again. Um, I think there's some punching involved, picks her up again, slams her down on like the baby's walker and, and breaks that. Um, and I, I think that hopefully people will start taking it more seriously instead of saying, oh, well, she must have done something. She must have said something. You know, these guys are uh, they're fucking crazy. Yeah. I mean, especially, you know, some of these NFL guys that are making brain injuries or whatever. But I have been in the position where you are sitting in your living room and doing laundry or you know, whatever it is you're doing. And somebody crazy comes in and picks you up and throws you across the room. So um, now we are able to see that and see her tiny little body that is being flown around and, and how awful that is. Yeah, I mean, he picked her up basically like a rag doll. I mean, yes. I was, we're going to put the video up. So the video will be up probably in another hour or two. I haven't seen the video yet. Yeah, the video is, is pretty Isn't graphic. disturbing? But yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. And... You know, we'll put the video up so you guys can see this. So come back to the 239 and, you know, take a look at it. So it there's another story. And I wish we could take these stories and map them up because there was this crazy motherfucker that was walking his dog that didn't want to pick up the poop. And he pulled a gun out and threatened to, like, kill this whole family because the guy said, hey, you need to pick up after your dog. Now, if we could have taken the dog poop guy and planted him <laughs> in the girl's <laughs> living room, Right? Yeah. Like, he's just itching. Just itching to get into trigger, a confrontation, trigger, right? Trigger, yeah. So I think we need to start matching up these stories. But really, this story was right here in, in Lee County. And this community just had some uh, a homicide in it not too long yeah, ago. Nice right? community, too, it is a nice too, community. Yeah. But mm -hmm. it's really big. Uh, and so I think that most of the people don't know their neighbors that well, maybe. Maybe that contributes to it. Um, but when somebody picks, asks you to pick up after your dog, I don't think that, you know, threatening to wipe out their whole family is a proper response. With a gun. With a gun. And even though you were ready to pull it up because the guy said you look good for putting your well, car. Well, you yeah. tell me I have a nice ass. That's a reason for a bullet in it. <laughs> You I, mean, sure. I mean, I'm almost a little bit nervous now in the opening to say shit you know is looking all is. good today. You know what it is? It's not the comment. It's not the initial comment so much because as women, we have been through it a million times where we just, you just deflect and evade, right? Just whatever, and you, and you go about your very way. It's what comes next. It's when they get rejected, when they get pissed off. If you're too nice in saying thanks, but no thanks, and they feel encouraged, it's what comes next that's the problem. So it's not so much a big deal that the guy was like, oh, hey, I like the way your ass looks when you take your cart back. You know, oh, all right, go fuck yourself. Uh, but if I were to say that to him, which is kind of how I felt, then, you know, that would have turned it what into... What if he was a, like a hot dude? What if? I don't... I would mean, you like to like... I told you in my comment, I'm like, I'm surprised you didn't jump in the van as you read it. Go to the, can you please take me to park my pocket spot? First, I'm not dating. Second, if I was dating, it would probably be an unattractive man because you've seen the men that I've dated and most of them have been unattractive. Maybe the last one was okay, but other than that, they're usually I'm sure these 30 years old. are like really excited to hear you say that. I'm just to say that's God. the truth. So attractive men don't impress me. And certainly, if you're trying to impress a woman, shouting out of your car window has never been successful. That you're not, is he looking for a wife? Is he looking for a soulmate like that? You might be my soulmate. Jake Crassing is. So I can figure One it out. Time. Did you say it like a girl? Oh, I don't. I've been drinking. Usually, my accent comes out when I've been drinking. Maybe my meds will kick it in. Yeah, maybe. No. So that's the thing. It's not so much that instant. Right. You know, it's not that I, I think. We need to overreact to people maybe just being nice. And, and I don't think he was meaning to be a threat, but I, I didn't like it. And, you know, if this guy's going to blow away his neighbor or asking him to pick up his poop, then maybe I'm going to go a little aggressive in the public. Well, that's what it's coming down to. I mean, like these people on the plane, it's like, uh, sir, could you put your seat back up? Hey, what the f I mean, next thing you know, it's a big ball. People don't know the difference anymore between having their 
ego insulted and actually being threatened. Like that's not a threat to you. That's an insult. And so people are getting that confused. Like, oh, they made me feel bad. So now I need to retaliate with violence. That yeah. is not equivalent. We don't do that. Dog poop. Go find someone that's going to be nice to you. Dog poop. And if people aren't being nice to you, maybe you're the common denominator. Yeah. Dog poop. Dog poop. But no, I just think that people are very like short tempered. Well, not that's the title on lottery. I mean, he's well, doing okay. That's good. Yeah. What? He can afford someone to come and pick uh, up the poop for him. Yeah. The, the, he doesn't this, have to shoot. Yeah, this Broward guy, right? This Broward guy is named Mark Gear. And Marty, he won $7.25 million. Now, was that a scratch off or did he win the numbers? Uh, I, don't I don't really know yeah. how the, the lotto works. I don't understand. That's a shit pile of money, right? So, public. But how much is he going to keep? So, they get a bonus when they sell yeah. the winning ticket. They got 60 grand. On which this is one. crazy. Yeah. So, Publix. I guess that's why they need the bonus. Right? They, they need the bonus. We'll donate it to an anti cannabis uh, campaign, I'm sure. <laughs> look, um, look, he gets 7.25. Uh, five million. That's a lot of money. It comes up to uh, just about five hundred five point five million dollars tax free after taxes. Whoa! So I like lotteries because they do, or they're supposed to, fund educational programs and other things that that states need. But what happens to these poor lottery winners? You know, they have these documentaries on they die from drug overdoses. They're bankrupt within a year or two. Um, all of these crazy relatives come out of nowhere. It, it's just rarely a good thing to, to win a lottery in this large amount. Maybe a scratch off ticket where it's like 500, you know, that's great. Go get your groceries covered and you pay the power bill. But seven million, this guy's gonna hurt himself. Let me try it. Let's call him in Let a year and see if he's alive. Yeah, let's we, we, actually we need to we reach out and call this guy and see, yeah, see, or, we can see what we can see. Let's get a list of old winners and, and check them out. Yeah, right. That's what where we can use our live equipment. Go well, knock on their door. Are let, you destitute yet? Let me ask you if you got if you got the the seven point two five, what would you do? The very very first thing, then you know, what would you do? Um Really? I know you probably like smoke a little weed, but what do we Well, that, that's, that's my normal day. Really, I would not do anything different. I have been in the position of oh. having Excuse access me. to, let's Excuse say, yeah. uh, you know, tens of millions of dollars and, and living that, that lifestyle. And what it comes down to every day is you still have to, you know, clean your toilet, go to the grocery store and do your work and take care of your kids. And it doesn't excuse you from a life. And I think the small... The small things in life is where you get your joy from. And so sometimes people overlook that. Would you quit work? No, I love to work. Yeah, you like yeah. to work. I mean, I might work differently. You know, I might right. invest in different things and um, I might have a bigger condo. But even then, you know, I lived in the, the big mansion with like 12 bathrooms. And you think it sounds really cool until it's time to scrub those bathrooms and yeah. they're looking at yeah. you. Yeah. So it's just, I'm grateful that I went through that phase, but realizing what money does to people and what it doesn't do for people, you still have to do the work. In fact, there was an article that um, Gary Vee came out with, uh, I think just recently, and he said that people under 30 trying, like these people in their 20s, trying to be a millionaire is the worst thing that they can do, that they actually need to just strive for about 70 grand a year. Yeah. That, that's a nice life. You're not, uh, because they make themselves miserable. They overlook everything else. They're not playing with the dog. They're not taking their mom out to lunch. They're not doing these other things because they're just, you know, on the hustle. Trying to hustle. 24 yeah. yeah. So. And I'm kind of a workaholic and you're definitely a workaholic. Yeah. So I understand working a lot, but I do it yeah. because I enjoy it. I mean, I like the money too, but I think you're the same way. You like the work. Yeah. It's not making the dollar. I, I do think I'm a worker hall, but I think I do things, especially now, because I retired, and I and I love my job at the chair's office, and I did it for a long time, but I do it enough, and I enjoy it, right? So Well, and you've always had kind of a social aspect to what you do, even creating sure. programs with the school, sure, sure, or, sure. you know, so I see how you had that outlet as well. Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's, it's great. It's great. Um, did you see my chiefs? Uh, by the way, just wanted to point that out. Yeah. Finally doing good. It's finally coming back. Oh my gosh. You got 500 now, one over 500. Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm a chief fan of that one. Yeah. No, I, but, but I do work. I do enjoy it. So, I, you know, if I'm doing something. Well, the real estate changes all the time. 
Yeah, yeah I don't know. you do help people a lot. I really want them to talk to them, and they love you because you're helpful. Yeah, you changed in their lives for the better. Yeah, you know it's good, but, but yeah, yeah. So you know, but if you didn't do real estate, because yeah. here's our question. I'm so good at these segues today. I'm killing it. Yeah, you are finally. Right? Um, I know. Yeah. You're like, could you please give us yeah. content or read us a story? And I'm like, no, I'll just wait yeah. for you to do all the work and then talk. Shannon's got a very good. Function here. I do. Yeah, I just show up. I'll just show up, do everything. I'll just sit here. Keep me focused. Uh, so, if you could trade jobs with someone that you know, ask you someone oh, you know, geez. who would you trade with and why? If it was a, a job or something with somebody I ask know. Ask someone you know who has somebody like the coolest job that you would love to do. You, you know, know what? It's kind of weird, but I've always had this thing of, and everybody tells me you're stupid for it. But I always wanted to go to restaurants. So I would probably, I think John Luke would be yeah. the funnest thing. Because that's a good time at it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to fuck with John Luke a little bit here. Because if, if you ever go in there, have you ever seen him cooking anything? No. Not one time. I've seen him eat. Yeah, I've seen him eat. I've seen, <laughs> but I would probably trade with him. I mean, he's got really good. Yeah. I and mean, again, that's a social job. So yeah. you would really enjoy that. But, but he makes a social, social yeah. job. If you guys have never been there, go to Cosmos. It's great. The food is awesome, but the ownership, even John Luca and everybody at the staff, you got people yeah. that have been there for eleven years. Well, and I was gonna say, even when he's not there, which he usually is, which is you know my favorite yeah. restaurant, like the yeah. owners there, yeah. glad handy, making sure. But even when he's not there, he has set the tone for his staff. Right. And they all are a team. They have a great attitude. They have a good time. Yeah. And you can tell that. And it's it's definitely it, it shows right. Yeah. So and he goes there and and it can be like there could be. There's never a line, but it's always busy. Does that make sense? Yeah. So he, he finds a way to keep people entertained until the table right. is good. And he's smart enough to know to hit each table, talk to everybody. Right. Because once you go there, he wants, it's like a family thing. It is, and it, it's delicious food. It could be fine dining if he wanted yeah, it he wanted to it. be. He, I, it's that quality, but yeah. it is a little more casual. Yeah, he likes it that way. So that would be, that would be cool. But everybody tells me, like, restaurant business. Don't ever think about it. Yeah, it's like you gotta be there. And you gotta, you know, it's it's a lot of work. It's not good. Yeah, yeah. What about you? With someone that I know. Yeah. Mm. What about you? Who would I want to change jobs with? I don't know. Um, I mean, I've really created every job I've ever wanted. So you know, which still pisses off Joe. He was talking about it last night. Um. I don't know. Like I, I've said before, I would like to be like Dr. Laura, but I don't know her yet. Yeah. But I could. You're know on the her. roll. Yeah, I could know her. Um, I don't. I don't know any of the famous people. I just like this. I like talking. I like connecting with people, telling stories. So maybe you. Maybe I would like to just be you. Oh my god. That's Your awesome. job is like really. I mean, it's the same as my job. Only you figured out how to be responsible and make money at other things. <laughs> So that you can all say yeah, yeah, so I can spend money on this. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. No, it's well, fine. I would be Tim for a day. Yeah, no, it's fine. What about you, Diana? Yeah, that's what who we want to you, know. That's who what would we want to be? Exactly. Tim or me? Uh, <laughs> in between. Yeah, in between. But is there like someone else that you know that has a cool job that you think, you know, you would like to do? Uh, I can't think of How about Jake the Shooter? He has a pretty cool yeah, Jake the Shooter. Yeah, he's good, right? I know you keep an eye on him. Do you yeah. know Jake the Shooter? No, but I saw the podcast. Thing yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a friend that's a travel and food writer. I think oh, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, too. so she used to travel all over, and um, now she has a, a rescue animal farm in North Carolina. So she's she's not going to Manhattan anymore. She's in those. Diana areas. always tries to take it off, so I always like she always as soon as she can. So, what would you like? To, what's the coolest part about Jake the Shooter? So if you don't know who Jake the Shooter is, he's like really, he's like 21, 22 years old. He's he's a top videographer out in LA. Mm -hmm. He's done videos that have had 100 million music videos, music primarily. videos primarily, right? He's the nephew of Sean McGrail, my business partner. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's I didn't nephew. know that yeah. family connection. Yeah. I was just impressed with him all yeah. his own. Now that I know that Sean's blood is his yeah, blood, no, even great. more impressed. Yeah, no, it's really cool. So Sean, Sean's sister's son. So okay. it's great. So what what, makes, what would you like best about that, Diana? He gets to interact and meet, like, big celebrities and a lot of, like, content creators. 
as well. Yeah, do you think you'd, I know you, how you think a little bit. Do you think you'd like to get the footage of the video and go back and kind of just really create something really special? Do you think that would be kind of a cool aspect of it as well? Yeah. Because you're good like that. Yeah, she's creative. She likes to just sit and you don't think she's really like taking it all in, but she, but she is. Yeah, because she's quiet. Yeah. And I, I, and you are good at, like, at realizing talent. I don't know that I would have picked up on her talent so much. I mean, I didn't spend a lot of time with her. Right. But you are very quiet. And so I think that people underestimate you. Plus, you're young and beautiful. Yeah. And so people are always going to, you're welcome, uh, are always going to underestimate you for that. But um, I, I get a kick out of when people come in and be like, and, and this is the producer, Diana. And they're kind of looking around her, like, for the, you know, like the older, more experienced version. Like, no, it's her. Like, she's the one kicking ass. Yeah, no, she's good. And then she gets it done. And, she's got a lot. and then. Dealing with me is very similar to dealing with you. You come in and brah, just <laughs> idea. So you, First of your yeah, so the next thing you know, like Dana's like trying to just get some things done. I'm like, try this. And the next yeah. thing you know, we're trying this and let's do a TikTok. And, you know, it all depends on what we got going that day. Yeah. How's your, your place going, Diana? It's going good. Oh, I got, I already got a couch. Really? Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. yeah. And I saw your office, your little, like, uh, table. yeah, your stuff that you're setting up. That's, yeah. It's very cool watching you build your life and have your space. Yeah, little by little, I'm getting there. I mean, I'd like to just keep you in here all the time, but <laughs> if you have to go home, then I, I'm glad that that's no. for you. She can't go home. Matter of yeah. fact, she can't have to put a cock here and, you know, it's just. Yeah, that's that would it. be better. You just put a shower in here. You yeah, that's shower. right. That's, that's the reason why I don't have a shower in here in this place, you know, so it's good. But, yeah, we got a lot going on. we got a lot of cool things coming up. We're going to take it to the next level, 2022. And we got to push into 2024. Big secrets then. I like to keep that stuff going on. It's fun. So we raised a little money last night. Oh, yeah. How did the truth go? For the Nisty Foundation. Yeah. I just wanted to thank you again um, for your, your contribution to that. So the tree auction, we had a, a Christmas tree and wreath auction. Sounds early in the season, but that's what we did at Robin Stucky for the Women's Council of Realtors. And it was to raise money for Nizzy Foundation, which uh, helps people. What are you looking for? Your phone? I took it. There you go. There you go. Don't take mine, though. All, that, all those sexting texts are on there. You call them sex? Uh, but so aside from the, the sexting, back to the, the good work. So I was at the auction here, That's and we cool. had, yeah, <laughs> like, like, I, I really, I, my ADD, I think it's contagious. I didn't have it until I met you. you it's it's like herpes oh, in the brain. That's so much, that's so much <laughs> alive. You had it way before me. But we had, uh, we had these, three, these trees on display at Robin Stucky for a couple weeks. And so one of the customers from the furniture store actually bid on our tree. We did a tree that was honoring the fallen. And I had all of the names of fallen officers written on the ribbon. So um, Joseph, whatever your last, Coleman, I think was his last name. Thank you for your bid. Or Copeland, whoever the hell you are. He wasn't there last night. So he bid on our tree. And... and it was, um, yeah, it, it was very cool to walk in before the, the auction even started so they could hit on our Yay! Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And you did a great job putting it together. Okay. And I kind of dropped the ball a little bit because the next thing you know, I see a picture of it all done. I'm like, but you know what? I'm not used to a man wanting to be helpful, like with decorating and stuff like that. I forget that you are creative. Well, I don't know if I, I want to be, but you, you get out. me involved and kind of like, you just got to tell me. Yeah, tell so me, you you just can tell me where to be, and I'll usually show up. So it's good. Yeah, it's, usually they're like, "You just go do it all." Here's the money. Yeah, no, so I, but I we appreciate you. That. Thank yeah, you. So it was it was a lot of fun, and yeah. thank you again. We, we did some good work. And one of the things too, I think we, we talked about is we're looking at maybe doing some mobile stuff. So if you guys have an event, we can probably go out there and you know do like a little red carpet thing. It's yeah. kind of a fun thing. And make make sure you you got a chance to make sure you tell your friends to like the Facebook page because that's. Kind of how I've been passing out up. my cars yeah. that are out. People have these, uh, uh, these cool cars that Diana made, and they have the QR code on them, so they just go to all of the media that you're doing. And um, it's, it's great because when I pass it out, they've seen it, they've heard of it. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's it. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And yeah. then when people yeah. come into town, too, yeah. now I can yeah. give them the card. Like, this yeah. is what's, what's really going on. That's what you really yeah. want to know what's going on. So, so you invest in the town, you should know. Yeah, yeah before, before we wrap it up, what's going on in Naples this weekend? What do we need to know about? Oh, my gosh. You're a socialite. No, I'm not a socialite. I'm still working on this freaking furniture. 
Oh, shit. Oh, I'm going to be in my apartment, but things are going on. Unreasonable Sunday night. Yeah. 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 started again. Okay. Uh, Wounded Warriors just had big fun yep. with her. Um, you know, it's November, so all the stuff is happening. And everybody is out in person again, which is, is nice, nice to see. see. I know yeah. it still scares some people, but they're out yeah. having a good time and hugging yeah. each other, slobbering on each other. I hope it's, it's, it's not going to turn out badly. But our numbers are down for it, thank goodness. That's good. Just getting it done. Well, we'll wrap it up for the Friday live. We're going to try to do something, I think, maybe for sure. We're going to do a podcast live maybe on Tuesday. So we'll be ready for that. But it's going to be good. That's going to be good. We're going to do a podcast shot off from a live probably. We'll see if that works. Now, if people have ideas for podcasts that they want to see yeah. done or yeah. news stories or whatever, where do they send that? Yeah, yeah, so if you want to go ahead and message me in Messenger, okay, on, on Facebook, or you can email me at tim at studio239llc.com. The best thing is just hit me up in Messenger. I have people call me and say, hey, this would be really good if we did that. And I usually... You know, try to follow up on those. If you have comments, you have ideas, things like that. I just have people that want to promote their business. Yeah. And it's always a great business. Yeah. I'm like, well, I'll take it to them and see what he says. Yeah, and so I never see it. Yeah, I don't want to take that to them. If I say that to you, there's no. zero chance of you coming on the podcast. Yeah, no, it was like, it was like, you know, obviously we want to have fun, exciting things, but we take, you know, we'll take them on. Well, and I think if they want to advertise the business, I would yeah. take a check for that. Yeah, no, that absolutely. That would be the whole episode, though. Yeah, that's true. We'll give it. We'll give it. We do have like a huge, huge following, so yeah, a lot of people. I mean, we're we're really yeah. building that up. So well, you've done a lot of work, and Diana has done a lot of work yeah. on the tech. And you always throw stuff up here. Well, I show up. And I really love how you give like your other realtor friends like. The, Best kudos in the world, and I, I get you get nothing. I get zip. You're not ordering on warranty. Whatever. I know. I guess I better do this. I mean, I'm just going to order one from Apple. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, my <laughs> school is for sale, and the price is on warranty. Okay. It's not that much. You're the thriller in the world. You're the best other buddy. Oh, uh, whatever. It's good. No. Yeah. If you guys want to buy or sell a house, give me a call. But no, we're all about yes. having fun here on 239. But so. we do have to pay for this the stuff like yeah, the yeah. light costs money and you have pointed out uh before the i mean not for me <laughs> the lights cost like the money, but, yeah. I don't know what no cost. i'm just kidding look, look at my face does it look like i know what no. i need to know uh but you are my face look at my face <laughs> not john lennon's face uh, but you're also a broker, and so you have a little more leeway in sure. uh, what you can do, and you have good connections. And I'm sure that you are encouraging all of your agents to use the home warranty. Yes, we got to do it again. We got to keep doing it. But yeah, that's can good. Can do it class now too? Yeah, we got a real estate class for good. And we'll, next time one comes up, we're already past the time where you can sign up because it's, oh, it's already going. Right. The next one, we'll definitely let you know. All right. Two, three, nine, Southwest Florida and beyond, and we are.